Scientists here have helped make a breakthrough in HIV research. The team from Cardiff University are part of an international project to engineer immune cells to kill or weaken the virus. They hope it could lead to new treatments for people with HIV, including for hundreds of people affected in Wales. Our health correspondent Richard Nosworthy has the details. There is now a deadly virus which anyone can catch from sex with an infected person. But you can't always tell if someone is infected. And unless we're all a lot more careful, the people who've died so far will be just the tip of the iceberg. In the 80s, government adverts raised public awareness of HIV. Since then, drugs have improved the prospects for people with the virus. Now there's hope of even better treatments in future. Scientists based in Cardiff have worked with researchers in Oxford and America to overcome a big problem with HIV, its ability to hide from the body's defences. Their work centred on cells like this, killer T-cells. Researchers have engineered them to create so-called bionic assassins. So with the research you've done, have you actually come up with a way of, of killing off the HIV virus? We can kill the virus off in the culture dish. So because the killer T-cells that we've built can see all the mutant forms of the virus that we know about. It's a very different thing to do that within the human body, so within a person. But it, it's exciting that we've managed to do that in the laboratory, but I don't wish to get people's hopes up that we can do that in people yet. But that's certainly the direction that this research is moving. It could help the more than 800 people in Wales who've been diagnosed with HIV. Over 100 new cases are found each year. The Terence Higgins Trust charity provides support and advice. It's welcomed this new research. Average life expectancy now for someone diagnosed currently is probably that they could live to around 72 if the treatments work and if everything else goes well. The problem is that the treatments don't always work very well for everybody, that you can become resistant and that there are some very unpleasant side effects. It's always good to see promising new research and this is promising. Uh, it's very much welcome. However, we are some years away from finding out whether it's going to be effective or not. The work done by scientists based here isn't the end of the story. The plan now is to take the project forward, putting the research to the test on real human beings. Richard Nosworthy, Wales Tonight in Cardiff.